What's up, you same people? The insane black kid is here. Invade your mind with another reaction video. This time we're gonna be reacting to Thor vs. Wonder Woman. Death Battle. Marvel vs. DC again, baby. Yeah. Both of these people had movies coming out. Obviously with Thor, you got Thor Ragnarok coming out next month. And you got Wonder Woman has already been out that came out in June. And guys, they have a lot in common. And we can see him fight to the death. Let's go, baby. The different pantheons of gods and goddesses have always been rife with conflict, and these heavenly wars can last for centuries. Like with Thor, Norse champion of Asgard and son of Odin, we got last name. and Wonder Woman, Greek warrior of the Amazons and daughter of Zeus. Zeus. He's Does that mean Kratos and Wonder Woman are related? Their weapons, armor, and skills, Ooh, 3D! Who would win a death battle? It's 3D awesome. This is the realm eternal, root of the world tree and noblest of the nine dimensions, Asgard. Like a protector for your butt. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. Asgard. Since ancient times, this colorful realm has been inhabited by warriors so powerful, many believe them to be immortal deities. And they sort of were, but being immortal in Asgard is a funny thing. <laughs> See, every few thousand years, these fellas go through a little apocalyptic event where everybody dies. Then okay. they're born anew with only vague memories of their previous lives. Right. This is the cataclysmic event known as Ragnarok. <laughs> and Asgard's newest king, the Allfather Odin, was determined to break this cycle. So he fathered the best Ooh, damn warrior okay. the realms had ever <laughs> Not too dumb, this kid. Thor spent most of his life living among <laughs> his people and defending his realm from its enemies. And he was good at it. Like, really good. He's their tank and <laughs> DPS all rolled into one when it comes to raiding other realms. <laughs> boy, does he look the part. This guy is six feet six inches of pure muscle and possibly lead because he somehow weighs 640 pounds. <laughs> Thor was trained by the best in Asgard and has proven his mettle across multiple worlds. Hey. He helped found the Avengers and has been <laughs> from giants to demons to other gods. <laughs> this is his brother. In real life god, Thor is super strong, super fast, and super durable. And even on those rare occasions when he does get hurt, he patches up real quick with his healing factor. And of course, being the god of thunder lets him control lightning and even the earth itself. But Thor isn't complete without his iconic arsenal. He wears the belt of strength, which doubles his already impressive might. Yep. And he swings around the most awesome tiny little hammer you've ever seen. Mjolnir is an ancient. Oh, it's Mjolnir. 65 million years ago, I thought I pronounced Majin. Or... Dwarves by harnessing a star. Its construction was so intense, it caused the star to explode, and its fiery remains eradicated the dinosaurs. Talk about metal! <laughs> Speaking of metal, Mjolnir is forged from Uru, an extremely durable iron-like ore that is highly susceptible to enchantment. Mjolnir in particular is enchanted to house a cosmic storm, uh -oh. powerful enough to shake black holes. And yes, the wielders of Mjolnir can access the storm's powers, including levitation and control over weather. Uh oh. I've never wanted anything so bad in my life. <laughs> Unfortunately, only those the hammer deems worthy can actually yeah. hold it, or even pick it up for that matter. You must be pure of heart and noble of mind, or else it won't even budge. Yeah. Well, lucky for Thor, he's worthy of adding Mjolnir's awesome power to his own. And with their powers combined, nothing can Ooh. stop him. Thor has easily tagged Quicksilver, who at his best can run around 670 million miles per oh, hour. Yeah. And Thor can move even faster than that when his hammer is dragging him around. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Thor doesn't really fly on his own in the same way people like Superman or Captain Marvel do. <laughs> Instead, he literally chucks his hammer as hard as he can <laughs> and hangs on for dear life as it takes him for a ride. <laughs> Thor has said Mjolnir is fast enough to reach the edge of the universe in 60 seconds. This means it can travel at least 350 trillion miles per hour, or over 5,000 times the speed of light. Don't let go, Goldilocks. 
thugs. Hitting pavement at that speed might hurt even you. <laughs> hey, be fine. <laughs> stand a dip in the sun, where it can be over 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. And while he was knocked unconscious, he did survive a bomb capable of planet busting, equal to a force of over 53 quadrillion megatons of yeah. energy. I'm so <laughs> impressed that he lifted this giant ass snake. Look at that thing. The <laughs> guard serpent is massive, capable of wrapping around the entire Earth twice. Yeah. It stretches nearly 900 miles wide and 50,000 miles Ooh. long. By comparing it to the largest living snake, the 550-pound green anaconda, mm -hmm. we can estimate the Midgard serpent weighs about 17 trillion tons. Yeah. Hold on, Wiz. I know my snakes, and it looks like that Midgard serpent is actually constricting the Earth. By squeezing prey, a snake can fly mm. pressure 16 times its normal weight. Uh oh. So Thor didn't yeah. just lift a really heavy snake. Like a blue stick. Matched 272 trillion tons of force. Uh, that is correct, Boomstick. <laughs> God damn right it is. It is important to stress the unbelievable yeah, boomstick. power Thor possesses. <laughs> so much so that in fights with other godly beings, whole worlds can shatter. If it ever comes to it, he can even enter a state of warrior's madness. Mm. While he loses some control doing this, his power increases tenfold. Mm, okay. Why did we put this guy up against Ray? <laughs> so, Thor's cocky attitude has put him in all kinds of trouble. He's even lost Mjolnir's power more than once as a result. Yeah, the hammer Ooh. isn't invulnerable, and if Thor's holding on to it, its enchantment can even be tricked. Like that one time, the Hulk used his own hammer against him by moving his arm. Why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> teach Thor a lesson Dang. in ability. Odin banished him to Earth, transforming him into a handicapped human. I see. You call that a handicap? That's a limp. I'm over here with a friggin' shotgun for a leg, and I'm not even allowed to park in those special parking <laughs> spaces. Still, it turns out sending Thor to Earth was all part of <laughs> Odin's plan to alter the cycle of Ragnarok, as such a thing had never been done before. And it worked. 4,000 years after the previous Ragnarok, Armageddon was stopped for good, and the gods were free. <laughs> All thanks to Thor. Hey, Thor. He's a giant time traveling floating sentient eyeball. But <laughs> mostly Thor. Can't make this stuff up. It's a rock monster. I accept your surrender. He turned into rocks. Legend has it that lost among One the one. waves sits a solitary island called Themyscira, shrouded in secrecy and inhabited solely by women. Hey, guess what's my new number one vacation? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Animaniacs. Despite their paradise isle far from civilization, the women of Themyscira are more dangerous than you'd think. <laughs> they are Amazons, immortal <laughs> warriors created by the Olympian gods. Their mission? To spread the peace and justice of the gods to a barbarian world. And ship anything to you for free within two days. Damn. Uh -huh. an annual fee. But a bunch of centuries later, they were kind of out of the loop. These chicks had never even heard of shotguns before. <laughs> Until the day a military plane crashed near the island. Determined to reconnect with the world and establish peace once again, the Amazons held a tournament to select a representative. The final test requiring each lady to block a bullet from just a couple yards away. <laughs> Damn, they don't mess around. <laughs> the winner was one of their youngest, a brave woman known simply as Diana. And hmm. that's how she became the Wonder Woman. Due to her warrior heritage, Wonder Woman was trained from a Shit, very young like... age in just about every aspect of combat you can imagine. Because what else is she going to do on that island? She's a master with swords, axes, spears, bows, <laughs> shields, yeah, hell, and pretty much anything that isn't a gun. Her Amazon physiology grants her super strength, <laughs> super speed, heightened wisdom, and the ability <laughs> to heal from most wounds almost instantly. <laughs> she can fly just like Superman. How else do you think she'd get around? An invisible jet? <laughs> That's stupid. How do you remember where you parked it? I'll say. <laughs> to further improve her deadliness, she carries a rather unique arsenal, among which are her iconic <coughs> bracelets of submission. Ah, that mm. sounds like some weird BDSM shit. Mm. Well, they kind of were, but the universe has been reset more than enough times to change all that, thank God. Right. Anyway, those bracelets are her greatest tool for defense. <laughs> Forged by the smith god Hephaestus using the remains of Zeus's legendary Aegis shield, the bracelets are impervious to nearly anything, including <laughs> gunfire, demon lightning, and Kryptonian heat vision, <laughs> which can be hotter than the sun. They can summon Zeus's lightning or even the indestructible Aegis they were made from. 
To avoid collateral damage, the bracelets also suppress some of Diana's strength. Taking them off vastly increases her godly oh, power. Oh, okay. Oh, and she can use okay. them to summon weapons like her magic sword. Hey. Also forged by Hephaestus, this sword's edge is so sharp that it can slice through microscopic atoms. Hey. This means a precision strike from Wonder Woman can cut through nearly any material. Man, this is Vesto's god yeah. makes some top-notch stuff. I wonder if he does commissions. Well, he's not responsible for Diana's final weapon, the Lasso of Truth. This unbreakable whip has the power to make anybody it touches tell the truth. <laughs> Bad news for any cheating boyfriends. She <laughs> <laughs> what other depraved thoughts must you be thinking? God, your daughter's got a nice rack. <laughs> Shall I kill him now, my queen? Of course, she doesn't need weapons to prove her awesome combat skills. According to Batman, Diana is the greatest melee fighter in the world, which is no small feat in a universe with people like Karate Kid, Deathstroke, and Batman himself. <laughs> Did you say the Karate, karate Kid? Oh, man, Daniel Sons really moved up. I didn't know that. The point is, Wonder Woman is a master martial artist who's trained all her life. Hmm. And while she has no birth date, birthday, we do know she was born during the age of the Roman Empire, hmm. specifically when they employed centurions. Hmm. Including the additional time she spent fighting in Valhalla before going back in time, this means Wonder Woman must be about 3,000 years damn. old. Damn. All things considered, she looks pretty damn good for her age. And that's <laughs> more than enough time to become a master ass kicker. It also helps that she's pretty darn quick. She's kept pace with Superman and defeated <laughs> the speedster Professor Zoom while blind. At one point, <laughs> Wonder Woman was battling an ancient god who had fragmented himself into trillions of pieces each spread to different corners of the universe. Hmm. And while he summoned his pieces back hmm. at faster than light speed, Wonder Woman was able to stand in his way and block all Dang. of them. That's insane! I mean, she's moving so fast, there's like a bunch of her. Moving thousands of times the speed hmm. of light can do that. In fact, she's moving so fast, she's probably breaking all manners of quantum physics. She's also ridiculously strong. She punched Doomsday into literal dust and helped pull the Earth around. The force needed to move an object out of the sun's orbit equals around one thousandth of the object's mass, He's... including the Earth itself. Assuming Wonder Woman was pulling her fair share, this hmm. means she can lift 2.2 quintillion tons. Huh. And Grandpappy Boomstick always told me women were the weaker sex. <laughs> I don't see him lifting a third of the He's <laughs> also incredibly <laughs> tough. Nuclear explosions hardly even face her. Oh yeah, she punched a warhead and tanked it point blank. Yeah. And then one day, Superman, who can see atoms, decided to split one to test her magic sword. Surprise, surprise, it literally blew up in their faces. <laughs> Waggy antics. Even hmm. more impressive was her fight with Zoom, in which she took several light speed punches, which, according to her fellow Justice League member The Flash, hit like a white dwarf star. Hmm. That would equal yeah. 2 billion megatons of force. Okay. Unfortunately, Wendy's not invincible. She's got her own kryptonite, and it's a lot more common than radioactive alien rocks. Her durability holds up well against almost everything, except for piercing weapons. Which just seems like an unacceptable weakness when you're that strong. Knives, swords, <laughs> spears, any kind of blade will do the trick. But especially bullets, which is probably why she's gotten so good at blocking them with those bracelets. <laughs> Unfortunately for swordsmen and sharpshooters, Diana doesn't go down easily. In fact, a good stabbing is more than likely just gonna <laughs> piss her off. And that's when you learn just oh. how dangerous Wonder Woman can really Damn. be. Hmm, oh, so. Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, all this talk of godly people makes me want some godly food. Okay. While they're doing that. Over the past five years, Blue Apron has created over 1,000 recipes. I'm kind of torn right here, to be honest. <laughs> Especially with Thor and Wonder Woman. That's crazy. Past five years. All chosen well, the Blue Apron community. Keeping things fresh, Blue Apron normally does I'm thinking within one calendar year, which makes this limited time offers. Um, Wonder Woman, maybe. Blue Apron costs less than ten dollars a meal per. Person. Or might come back on top you while rooting for Wonder Woman. For each week yeah. Delivery. It's all about giving you. Or might win by rooting for Wonder Woman. That's how I'm gonna go. New dish. Every meal comes with an easy to follow recipe. Anybody oh, who follows man. whip up your new favorite meal. They've even got Boomstick hooked. He's off cooking his meal to eat during the fight right now. Oh, Check I'm out this I'm week's right. menu and get thirty dollars off your first meal with free. It's hard to choose. Blueapron.com slash battle. You'll love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home cooked meals with Blue Apron. That's my thought. Your favorite Blue Apron recipes are back on the menu.
That's blueapron.com slash battle. I think Wonder Woman might win this. If not Thor, that'll be okay. Thor might win, but I'm rooting for Wonder Woman. There we go. Final position. Pretty animation. That's from Ju from uh Injustice or Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe, maybe? Hey, it's Thor. It looks like he's from Marvel's Capcom 3. You, no man can enter the Mascara unannounced. Stand hmm. down, wayward maiden. This sort of thing never turns out well for women like yourself. Ooh. Oh. I don't think you've ever known a woman like me. Oh, I'm on the same side. Sure. Let me see her. Oh, oh, yeah. I broke the shield. The tornado that killed Rain. <laughs> it's gonna happen again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Such reckless abandon. Born this guy to school. Hey, knock a holly from Earth. Anything in their forms now? Uh oh. I see, what, I see what we're doing up there. Bro. Oh shoot. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, there you go. It's like Wolverine's Berserk mode. <laughs> uh oh. I see that door. What the? <laughs> it's like a Hulk. Ooh! Ooh! You're not worthy. Oh, shit. You can't regenerate. Damn! Looks like somebody's been watching too much Game of Thrones. God. Oh shit! Their weapons were enchanted. Their years of experience were similar, and even their super modes did almost the same sort of thing. But Lady Wonder had a couple big things going for her, like her speed. Sure, Thor's fast enough to tag Quicksilver, and his travel speed with Mjolnir is just Ooh, super I'm... fast. But Wonder Woman's shown that she's even more stupid fast in combat over and over again. Yeah. Such as when she blocked trillions of god shards flying at her from the edges of the universe. Most likely faster than any mm. speed Mjolnir was capable of. Okay. She was even able to catch Zoom in her lasso, despite how he wasn't just running ahead of her in physical space, but he was also ahead of her in time. Damn. Grab your noggin around that one. Thor's durability was greater than Wonder Woman's, but the difference in strength was a different story. Yeah. In fact, when comparing their Earth and Snake feats, she was 8,000 <laughs> times stronger than him. But the final nail in Thor's coffin was their choice of weaponry. Yeah. Mjolnir may have been tough for Diana to defend, That's sharp, though. but it couldn't exploit her weakness to piercing weapons. Yeah. Meanwhile, Diana's magic sword could slice at a microscopic level. 
something four couldn't possibly be prepared to defend against. Mm. You could have skin so tough that you can take a bath in the sun no problem, but it won't do a damn thing to a blade that can literally sever your atoms. Yeah. Ultimately, while many of their talents were evenly matched, Diana's speed, strength, and weaponry proved too much for Thor Odinson. Yep, he was done, Thor. The winner <laughs> is Wonder Woman. All right, Wonder Woman. Stick around, we're about to Let's see who's next. next Let's see who next. Exclusive commentary on this episode. Mm -hmm. Click that little box over there and start a first membership trial. Try to grab one of these shirts too. Mm -hmm. Is that Ichigo? Naruto? Ichigo versus Naruto. Uh oh. Oh. Naruto coming to death battle. Ichigo coming to death battle. Okay. So that was Thor versus Wonder Woman. Pretty good. Just for the dirty animation. Awesome. Oh, I can't wait for Naruto versus Ichigo though. And I kind of saw it coming though when they said that piercings can't hurt one woman. And I thought Thor doesn't have no piercing. Do it. He just got the little Maginor thing, Maginor, whatever it's called. Otherwise, good episode. Have a nice day, same people.